Hi, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you're probably in the midst of trying to figure out who's gonna design your project. Now, I don't think it's something you should rush, but I just wanna take a few minutes of your time to explain to you a little about our company, Little Star Renovations, and also um, share with you three processes that we've built that I feel set us apart from other design firms. So one of the things I wanna talk about is the connection between design and build, the handoff from the design to the build. There's two different elements through a, a project, design first and then build, and they're very, very different. But with Little Star, we have design and build under the same roof. And I feel that's a huge benefit to you, the homeowner. What I've seen time and time again is that homeowners will go find a designer, come up with their dream project, all the drawings, and when that gets handed off to a contractor, there's a huge disconnect that happens. For us, we want to be able to offer our clients more. We want to be able to build what has been designed and keep things on budget. So for our designers to be able to draw from the knowledge pool of our build team is really beneficial, especially when it comes to renovations, which are very, very nuanced. Our designers will often bring the necessary trades to site as the design is unfolding to get their opinion on a certain treatment. So it's a great benefit to you to pick a company that has design and build under the same umbrella. We want to give you your dream design, but I think it's very important that that designer keeps things on budget for you. And we're able to do that at Little Star. Cost plus versus fixed price. I want to talk a little bit about the two models and hopefully um, bring some clarity to the whole situation. Cost plus is, is more common than fixed price. Cost plus is a definite benefit to the builder, but it can be pretty stressful for you, the homeowner. And I've seen a lot of times there's a, it fractures the relationship. So cost plus is, is a pay as you go model. So let's take demolition for example. If a fixed price company comes in and quotes demolition and they budget five days to uh, demo a project and it takes them 10, then the fixed price company are gonna have to unfortunately eat those extra five days because they didn't estimate properly. If a cost plus firm budget demo five days and it takes them 10, you the homeowner are gonna be paying for those extra five days. Bummer for you, good for the contractor. Projects, especially when it comes to renovations, will always trend upwards because in renovations there's so many unknowns. That's why our design process is so thorough because we wanna overturn every rock and figure out what we're walking into because we don't wanna lose money. But it's a lot safer for you. Everyone has a budget, no one has a blank check. And if you wanna budget your project, you might as well get the truth early. And we feel that truth is important and to have that truth on the front end about actual cost, to uncover the surprises prior to the build is, is a way of retaining that relationship and keeping it strong. I feel, I've, I've met lots of clients uh, that have hired cost plus firms and I'm sure they do fantastic work, but they're really burnt out and stressed because it just kept trending up and up and up and up. And the 800,000 they thought were gonna, they were gonna spend on a project turned into 1.4 million or the 50,000 they thought they were gonna spend turned into 100,000. Unless you have a blank check that is, which no one does. Fixed price is way, way safer for you, the homeowner. It is a little aggravating on the front end because it takes a lot longer to get the results, but then you know exactly what you have to budget for, what you have to save for, and walking into a project, there's not many surprises. So having a detailed scope of work ticks three major boxes. The first thing it allows us to do is get accurate pricing from our subtrades. Um, when we send them a detailed description of, of the task at hand with the materials that they need to use, they're gonna give us very accurate pricing. Renovations are expensive enough as it is. So to have trades add in buffer and contingency is just something we wanna try and, try and avoid. Part of our design process is to bring our trades to site to see it as well. So this also allows us to get more accurate pricing. But the scope of work is, is very, very important when it comes to um, having our trades quote the job and giving accurate price for that project. The second line it ticks is um, it allows you to see what's going on in your project. Okay, this is demo. Oh, I didn't realize they gotta take this apart and do this. It allows 
you to see the kind of uh, mechanics of how the project's going to unfold and will give you more understanding as to why maybe it costs more than you thought it did or, you know, why is demolition so high? Oh, I didn't realize they've actually got to take it into the elevator, take it down three stories, bring it out. We can't park in front of the apartment. All of those things add cost to the job and for you to have the knowledge of where your money's going is very, very important. And the last and most important part, important reason for having a detailed scope of work is cost. It allows you to see what the total and us to be able to see where the total numbers land. Now, more often than not, projects come in higher than the first initial estimated budget. And that's just the way it goes. Design is kind of like going to your favorite store. You're walking through with a cart and you fill everything into the cart because it just looks amazing. You get to the cash register and then unfortunately you find out it's all a bit more expensive and too much. Then you have to go back and put stuff back, which is tough to do. But having a detailed scope of work gives you that pause to be able to say, hmm, this is 20,000 more than I wanted to spend on this project. Let's put some stuff back. You know, that light fixture that we had brought in from Italy, uh, it's, we don't really need it. So it allows you to mas massage the scope of work and bring costs down to a place where you feel comfortable with the investment. So I hope that made sense and really ultimately helps in, in making this decision. It's a big decision. Uh, your home is your most treasured possession and you're gonna be parting with a lot of money in most cases. So it's really, really important that you feel good about who you're going to be working with. I think it's really important in your decision making to, to find a firm that gets your vision and, and understands what you want to do with your home. A home tells a story and uh, to find a contractor that gets your story is important. To find a designer that gets your story is very, very important, I think. It's also really important to keep in mind that when you walk into a design and build phase with a firm that you, you have a team that you feel you could navigate some potentially tough conversations with because I think if we're real and honest, renovations, building, design, it can be stressful. You're parting with a lot of money. Again, it's your, it's your, it's your home, it's your nest, it's, it's, it's where you live a lot of your life, and it will be stressful at times. So to find a firm that you, can, that you feel you can have an honest conversation with and, and say your piece is very, very important. So there's some of our process that I hope you found helpful, no matter if you choose Little Star or not. We understand that we won't win the hearts of everybody, but if you do choose Little Star, then we really do look forward to working with you and exploring what's achievable with your home.